In this video, I will be showing you how you can create a PayPal payment button so that you can put it into your website. And in this process as well, you'll be able to have a link that you can put in the buttons or you can pass it to other people so they can collect payment with PayPal. So I'm going to show you my computer. Uh, of course, the requirement is for you to have at least a PayPal account first before you get started. And with that, let me just show you in the computer. Let's go. Hi, first of all, you log in into your PayPal account. So this is a business account. So I think you can do it for both business and personal account. But I'll suggest to use it as a business purpose if you're doing it for business. Okay. So now you see there's a few things on top. Just click on tools. Go to PayPal buttons. If you have PayPal buttons, because I'm using it, so that's why you don't see it. So if you don't see the word PayPal buttons, then just go to all tools. Then you can see there's a few tools that's available. Because I favorite PayPal buttons, then that's where I can click it. Right? You can send invoice. You can collect payment from invoice as well all these things can be set up you can find the information here just search for buttons right so now let's go to the paypal buttons let's open it so you put it as favorite so that it's easy for you to find next time when you want to send a button right so there's a few buttons the option to pay with paypal and major credit cards on almost any device maybe you can try this sell subscription plan oh this is pretty good and other things like that. but let's make it simple we just want people to just click on it and buy now right so one item or single item so this one you all can test it out but it's as simple as that let me just show you how it's going to be done uh, let's just click on buy now right just follow step by step how you do it so there's a button type you can choose buy now donation subscription we're going to buy now easy so i uh, can do whatever i just put so item id if you want to keep track you can put id 001 or any number that you like right so uh, for price you, you can choose currency if you want us dollar let me just find us dollar just choose any price that you want, right? So if you want to have a drop-down menu with price option, so you click on here. So this is an example that you can have a look. Uh, when you click on here, you can, you can see there's separate different different price you can put. So if you take it here, then you can see there's different options, right? You can put in the, the main menu, then you can put in all the options, right? Just put in option and put in the price. So it's up to you whether you want to use this or not. So if, if I want to make it simple, it's only one payment, so you just leave it like that. So no need. So you can add a drop down menu as well. Let's just do an example. This is for example, you want like same price but different size like SML. So you can do it here. Right? Uh, the next one is the add text view. So you can have for example some notes that you can put it once they do a payment. So I don't need all of this. So you can customize the text of experience as well. You can use smaller buttons or you can use any other button that you like. Use own button image, whichever that, that you like. Right? So you can display the credit card logos or you don't want also can. Right? Up to you. And then you can choose the language and also the button buy now or not buy now. So if you want to use your own button image, make sure you just upload it, right? You upload it somewhere, then after you just put it in. So specific amount, if there's a shipping, there's tax, just do it accordingly. And also merchant account ID, whichever that you want. So I'm using this PayPal, so I just continue using this. So I, I want to display credit card logos and things like that, so I keep it like this, right? Then next you go to track advantage so this is optional a lot of people just skip this but there's a lot of things you can do you can save the button save the button first of course then you can track inventory that's if you want to put the quantity in stock right for example if you're selling physical product you can put the limited stock or you are selling tickets so last time i did sell tickets with this so i put a maximum quantity so uh, when you reach that quantity they will stop stop selling anymore so all this can be done um, or if you don't have then yeah right so this is optional as well uh, no, don't let customer buy or yes, customer. Just try accordingly what you want, right? For me, I don't need. We don't need for now. Just, uh, just for you to explore if you want. Okay, so this is quite important thing, right? Uh, now, do you let the change order quantity? You can put yes. If you put yes, you can. They can put more than one quantity. For example, if they want to buy like tickets, they want to buy only one ticket. But some people want to buy two or three tickets. So I enable this option. Then they have an option for you to click the amount that they want to buy. Two or three or four or five. But you can set the limit. Everything all can be set here. So it's easy done here. So for now, again, simple. Make it simple. We don't know how to put this. I think I just put a change order quantity so that you can have a look how is it like, right? You can order a special instruction. So yes, if you want to, you want the shipping address, you might want to want. So this is the URL. Once they cancel their checkout, or once they finish the checkout, that means once they finish, they can go back to the original page or they can go out to another page. It can be set up here as well. So yeah, so just fill out accordingly, depending on what you want. Now you create the button. So you can give this code to developer or you can put it uh, any website builder. I'm going to try it out in ClickFunnels so you can have a look how it looks like. So I have the ClickFunnels app open ready. So you just have to find this custom HTML element here. So you can just put it in. I just want to put the code editor so just copy and paste 
then later I'll show you how, how does it look like, right? Another thing is that if you do not want to have this, you just want the link, right? So actually this link, you can pass it to other people. They can immediately make payment through the link itself. Let me just show you how when I just go to the link. So there's option to, to do payment. You see there's a quantity here. So just now we allow them to change quantity. So that's why we can change the quantity here, right? If not, they won't, you won't be able to change the quantity here. So for example, four. So it will have an error because it is going to my checkout page again. Yeah, I'm going into this account. So just, just let it be, right? You see the price updated based on the amount of quantity that you want. That's the reason why we, we have that. Uh, it depends whether you want it or don't want, right? So this is how the link look like. You can send the link direct as well to other people so that they can just immediately click and purchase. So now let me just put the link here. This is a button that I created. So you just set an action and you put the link here. It's up to you how you want to do it, whether you want to use code or you want to use the link as a, in the button. So I just want to show it to you in ClickFunnels because it's easy for you to edit and you can see how it's like, right? So just save first. Next, you go to preview. Take it to see. The link is here, right? Buy now. When you click on it, you come to here, right? Or when you click on this link, you come to here. So it's the same thing, right? So there's two methods for you to use the link. Uh, whether you want to make it as your own PayPal button or you can put the, the link directly into your button and use it as a way to collect payment. Right? And in fact, even the link can directly send to people so that they can directly make payment through the link. So I hope this is useful for you. And this is how you can create a PayPal button that you can use to set payment. Yeah, that's it. That's how you can easily create a button for PayPal. So you can, for example, you can embed the button inside the website. You can ask your webmasters to redesign the button however you like it. Or you can just get the link and put it in the link in the button and when people click, they can directly go to your checkout page in PayPal. Uh, again, the link also you can always send to people and then people can pay using that link as well. So it's as simple as that. But if you like content like this and you have not subscribed to this channel yet, I talk a lot about digital marketing and entrepreneurship. So if you're interested in these kind of topics, do consider subscribing to this channel. Turn on notification bell so you don't miss any of my future video. Again, I hope this video is useful for you. So if you find value on this video, do give me a thumbs up or a like. And with that, thank you very much for watching and I see you in my next video. Bye-bye.